Patel and I have met before. Comments yesterday by our spokesman, and also accused the United States of standing by while the bloodshed continued in Bosnia. Do you have any response to that? Well, the United States is not standing by by any means. What we're standing by is the UN resolutions uh, that were adopted in August, as well as the action taken at the summit. Uh, we're quite prepared to pursue the President's commitment to, to take action when the military plans are drawn up with respect to Srebrenica uh, and Tuzla, and standing by our, our commitments there. I'll say again, as I've said before, that uh, the United States uh, does not believe that it should put ground forces uh, onto the ground in, in, in Bosnia in order to require the parties to enter into a settlement. We think it would be inappropriate to uh, insist that the victim, uh, that is uh, the Bosnian government, uh, uh, conform to uh, some pre-existing plan. But we're as anxious as anyone to uh, see a settlement reached there. And at the present time, we're following uh, the UN, I'm uh, sorry, the NATO resolutions of August, as well as the decisions taken at the summit. And as I uh, read the reports this morning, it seemed to me that uh, the statement released by uh, uh, both the President and Prime Minister Balladier in France were supportive on those two points. And uh, so I hope that we're coming together on, on the importance of carrying out uh, the UN, the NATO resolutions, as well as carrying out the decisions taken at the summit.